What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. Been a little bit since we had some news, so it's always great to hop on here and update you guys with some brand new WWE action figure news, of course, as we like to cover here on the channel, man. But today, we're diving into some different stuff. A lot of unique stuff going on here today, man. I'm excited to dive into it with you. So with those things being said, man, let's shut the hell up and dive into it, man. Starting out first, this was a very out of left field thing, I think, personally. You guys can let me know what you think here, but WWE Bindo are returning. Yes, WWE Bendems are returning. These are up for pre-order right now on Ringside Collectibles. Now, I thought this was very odd. I just did not see this coming whatsoever. And not only did we get the pre-order, but we got to kind of see some of these packs and got to see, you know, what the hell, what these things are going to look like here. Now, I did not expect this. Now, I'm going to be real with you up front. Just hit you right in the face with it, man. Never been a Bendems guy. Never been a Bendems guy. I think my quality of Bendems goes back to, like, I think they made some Simpsons Bendems and some Batman, like, animated series Bendems back in the day, and I like those. I played with those as a kid and everything, but I was never like a huge fan, you know. I'd much rather have some sort of articulation to them, but you know, that's just, I guess that's just the, the times that I grew up in and whatnot, and I know that they have a, a hardcore fan base, and I, I understand that completely. I've just personally never been a fan of Bendems, but you guys can let me know if you're team Bendem down in the comment section below, or, you know, maybe you have a, a soft spot for them and whatnot, but this first pack that we have here, it's called the Main Event Icons, and you guys can see as we scroll through, you have The Rock, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Hulk Hogan, Bruno San Martino, and Charlotte Flair. I thought it was hilarious that somebody, uh, one of like the top comments on this post was, I'm sure the kids will be clamoring for a Bruno San Martino bendy, and I just thought that was so funny. But uh, of course, somebody did reply and say, you know, kids don't buy toys, 40-year-olds are buying toys and whatnot, and you know, the older collectors are the ones that are going to be buying these. I just thought that was funny, but it is true, you know, but we have that pack, and then we also have a Superstars pack featuring Rey Mysterio, Seth Rollins, John Cena, and Roman Reigns, and then we have a Legends pack that features features The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, and Undertaker. It's got like some yellow packaging. Very nostalgic looking on the back of the packaging and looking at these figures here. But then we have some single releases. You have Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, Roman Reigns, John Cena, and then you have Undertaker, Stone Cold Rock, and Hulk Hogan. So, so we're going to have some box sets and some single releases here. You know, again, not my thing, but if you guys are interested in that, they are up for pre-order right now at Ringside Collectibles. I have no idea who's going to carry these. I don't think they're Ringside exclusive, so maybe you'll see these in Walmarts and Dollar Generals potentially, or maybe Maybe some sort of dirt cheap or TJ Maxx. I don't know. I don't know where the hell these are going to hit. So we'll have to see about that. You know, that remains to be seen. But I don't know. If I saw these for a cheap price and I saw it chilling there, I might would pick up a John Cena or something like that for the collection, you know. But nonetheless, man, we're moving on to some championship showdown packs that went up for pre-order as well. Now, we saw these back at Comic-Con, I do believe. We did see Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey, a British Bulldog and Shawn Michaels. And you do have Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley. Now, one thing about these sets is I hope the Liv Morgan head sculpt's good. I'm not very promising on the Ronda Rousey. I don't know how much I feel about that. The British Bulldog, again, a good head sculpt. Maybe you could put that on one of your other British Bulldogs, but it'll probably be the same head sculpt we're getting on the Greatest Hits or the Build-A-Figure. And then the Shawn Michaels, it'll more than likely be the defining moment Shawn Michaels that we just recently received. I would guarantee that it would probably be that version of Shawn, but hopefully this guy has knee pads as well. Maybe you can put on some Elites or something like that. But the Bobby Lashley and Brock Battle Pack actually is pretty solid. Like, I'm excited to see what the white gear looks like. You, get, you guys know that all these basics right here are going to have the new articulation, so maybe they'll be worth the pickup, man. You got to look at basics and championship showdown packs in a completely different light now because of this new articulation and things like that. We're no longer buying basics or just head sculpts and knee pads. Maybe we'll get some more, you know, creativity out of those and what we can use them for, but the white legs, Bobby Lashley, really wish that would have been the Elite 103 Lashley or the Ultimate Edition, but here he is in basic form. And then the Brock Lesnar has this, like, honeycomb mouth head accessory, and when I say that, it's from the old, like, honeycomb cereal commercial you guys remember how like they used to have like the big mouths or whatever the hell that was so that's kind of what i'm getting out of this championship showdown pack but this is championship showdown pack 16 which honestly it feels like there's been way more than that like only to have 16 you know sets of the championship showdown it's kind of crazy but these are okay you know I, I, they're, they're serviceable you get a flashback you get a current and another current so i don't know it kind of dips its toes in different waters and what have you but next up we had a very shocking revolution right here man the next wave of wwe elite top picks for 2024 you guys know that they're always like a year ahead and it's wave two. We already got wave one, and the, the wave one's already hitting freaking retail, man. We already said people are finding the Seth Rollins, the John Cena, and the Roman Reigns. The set that we just reviewed the other day, they're already finding them at retail. So that's 
something that you may want to look out for. The Dusty Rhodes Hell in a Cell gear for Seth Rollins, that Top Picks figure we reviewed just the other day. It's hitting retail stores, man. Go check your targets, man. But this is a very unique set. The Elite Top Picks 2024 Wave 2 is going to be Sheamus, Cody Rhodes, and Logan Paul. Not a set that I was seeing here, man. But if you look at the images right here, I would guarantee that Sheamus is more than likely going to be a repeat of his Elite 97 figure. Now, it's a really solid figure, but I think that that is such a random person to be in the Elite Top Picks. I don't really have any quarrels with it. I like Sheamus, you know. I don't have any any bones to pick with anybody. I like Sheamus. I like that Elite 97 figure. I think it's a damn nice figure, but I don't know if it, it should he be included in the Elite Top Picks. I don't know. I'm all for Cody Rhodes. I, I like a Logan Paul figure. You know, a lot of people are going to be wanting that figure. I think that's a pretty, honestly, genius pick there for the Top Picks because a ton of people are wanting his Ultimate Edition. People want his Basics. Little Jimmy Jenkins goes down the aisle, looks up there, sees Logan Paul Elite. I mean, it's coming home with him, Brad. I just think that that's the case. You know, people that are big fans of Logan Paul, he has a very wide outreach. So I think that that's pretty easy right there for Logan Paul to slide himself in there. Now, one thing that I'm interested in is back at our tour of the Mattel Design Center, they were actually working on a Logan Paul that I don't know. I know it got shown off, but it didn't get to see its entirety. It was like kind of like a, I don't even know if people know this, but it's like a promo gear kind of Logan Paul figure. I wonder if that's going to be this figure or maybe that was just something that they were working on at the time and maybe it's not coming out ever, but I don't know. That could be a thing right there. Maybe that is going to be that street gear style Logan Paul. We'll see about that, I guess, but maybe that was a figure. I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that. Again, nothing confirmed. It's just something that could be potential there, but it has him in his WrestleMania gear there, which would also be cool. Maybe you get a Prime Bottle accessory or something like that, but, you know, they've never made a, an elite Logan Paul, so that's not going to be a re-release. So is that is this Cody Rhodes going to be the one of the other Cody Rhodes re-released again? I just don't see that, man. I hope that we get some new gears in here. I hope it's his Royal Rumble gear where I was front row to witness him win the Royal Rumble. Very uh, amazing moment. I, I love that moment every day. I think about it. I'm like, damn, that was such a great trip, such a great memory for wrestling and Cody Rhodes and my fandom of him. So that is amazing. I hope that that's the Royal Rumble gear in this Elite Top Picks way. But Logan Paul, Cody Rhodes, and Sheamus are our Elite Top Picks 2024. Very interested. But these are up for pre-order. So if you want to pre-order these, you don't really care what the gear is. You want to get your order in right now. They're up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use code MDTOYS again to go save yourself some money over there. But I thought that was a very interesting top pick set right there. Next up, we have Series 144 for Basics that are also up for pre-order. Now, I do believe we saw these back at Comic-Con as well. We got B-Fab, we got Dom Mysterio, we got Karrion Cross, we got Ultimate Warrior, and we got Rey Mysterio. Now, all these figures look pretty solid. You know, I think the Rey Mysterio looks a bit weird with his old face scan, and then you have, like, the gloved hands looking a bit weird. The Ultimate Warrior, they're serviceable. Now, again, you can't really judge, man. If you want to update your Karrion Cross Elite, you can buy this basic for him, and then Dominic is getting a good basic right here to pair with your Judgment Day and stuff if you missed out on the Elite 105 and what have you, but I don't know, man. We'll have to see about this. Again, you can't really judge basic. Until you get one of these new basics, man, I'm telling you. I know we reviewed the LA Knight the other day. What a damn good fit. I was blown away by the new basics, so hopefully this will be a trend upward where we actually talk in depth about basics more here on the channel because I no longer want to throw them the hell out in the yard and run them over and throw them away completely, so we'll have to see about that. But Basic Series 144 is up for pre-order. We did see these back at Comic-Con, I do believe. And another very interesting development, man, is WWE Ultimate Edition Series 20. Now, we had some different things going on with this set. Originally, it was going to be Roman Reigns, Asuka, and Bray Wyatt. Rest in peace to the legend there. But, of course, Mattel did say that they are pulling Bray Wyatt for now, and they're going to, of course, input him later on in waves. But they're taking a break from making his figures, obviously, for different reasons. And so they have inserted The Undertaker right here. So Undertaker is getting another Ultimate Edition. Now, there's a lot of different ways you could play this. I want to go ahead and get the others out of the way, and then we'll dive into The Undertaker. Of course, this Roman Reigns figure looks immaculate. It looks like the best Roman Reigns of all time. We'll have to wait until we get that in hand. There's no shirt or anything, but this new Roman Reigns torso that it looks like we're getting in different things. They have a really unique opportunity right here, man. I know I want the faded head sculpt and the tapered beard. Been begging for that. Maybe they'll take that into account. I really need to make another post outreaching out to people to showcase what we should get out of Roman Reigns, and maybe we could get something to make something happen there. But Roman Reigns, I am really excited for this Ultimate Edition because it is accurate. I saw a lot of people saying, another Roman Reigns? Like, Brad, have you seen this Roman Reigns? It's much different than his other one. It's got a better torso. I think they're going to upgrade some stuff. He's got the red boots. It's a new boot mold and a new torso on a Roman Reigns. I'm all for that, but I am a guy who's picky about parts and likeness and things of that nature, so that may not be your cup of tea. But we also have Asuka, which looks to be one of the best women's figures that Mattel's ever made. Figure looks immaculate. This is her Royal, Royal Rumble gear, I do believe, where I was also row one for that moment as well, because it's the same event as Cody Rhodes winning it, and she had her face paint. It's kind of MDT gear 
gear esque. I mean, it's got pink and blue and yellow and black. It's very nice gear. Zebra print in there. It's very nice. I, I cannot wait to see this. Apparently, we're going to get a cloth robe, different head sculpts. That Asuka figure should be knocked out of the park. But then we have the Undertaker. Now, this is where it's weird. You guys remember we made that news video back where we said, you know, are they going to be inputting? They were going to be replacing Bray Wyatt. And was it going to be like a greatest hits Ultimate Edition? Or is it going to be a non, like, never before seen Ultimate Edition plugged in there? And my feeling is using this look right here that we're seeing here, it appears to be a late 90s Undertaker. And I think it's, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to re release the exact same Undertaker. However, they could be giving us the exact same body and then just changing the head sculpt to maybe like a revamp of the old Defining Moments Undertaker or something like that. Maybe they'll give us some new head sculpts or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to play that one by ear. Certainly these are up for pre-order again. So Roman Reigns, Asuka, Undertaker, all up for pre-order there. Ultimate Edition 19 should be arriving any day now, man. Kurt Angle, Bianca Belair, and Bobby Lashley. Can't wait to get those reviews in. Really, really nice to have three Ultimate Editions in a single set now. That has me excited, but I don't know. I can't wait to, to review those there on the channel. But this Undertaker I mean, it is what it is. We'll have to, again, play that by ear, see exactly what comes of it. But I am excited about it to see what it looks like. And we can't wait until we get an actual, you know, gallery. Maybe we'll get that around Christmas time of actually what these figures are going to look like. Or maybe here at the end of the month, we'll finally get, you know, they're probably going to post a November gallery featuring all these figures. So hopefully that'll be the case when these uh, do, uh, you know, we get those images and whatnot. And we'll, of course, cover it here on the channel and address all those things. But that's kind of what my first notice is on that. And then the last thing that we want to talk about here, man, is Elite 107 which is also up for pre-order. So Elite Series 106 and 107 are both up for pre-order. Very exciting stuff. Elite 105, of course, we did review just last week or a couple weeks back. If you guys missed those, definitely check those out. But Elite 106, I imagine, is going to arrive very soon, man. Figures hitting at a clip. You guys know as we near the holidays, figures are going to be hitting and hitting and hitting. And usually around that Thanksgiving or right after Thanksgiving, man, things just start popping off. Huge clearance, huge sales and stuff. But this wave looks pretty good. You know, we get our updated solo with fixed torso. You get Otis to match with your Chad Gable from Elite 106. You get Cora Jade's first figure, updated Judgment Day Finn Balor, a unique older taker, you know, torso, shirtless torso for him, and then you get the first time in the line, Grayson Waller, which I guess by that time, I don't know if his basic will be out or not. I don't think it will be, or did they even make a basic? Maybe I'm tripping, but Grayson Waller, you know, first time in the line, or some new blood in the elite line is what we like to see, but I believe that is all the news that we have today, man. We had some unique stuff going on here. I wanted to get on here, of course, and touch on everything and break down all of the news that we had. A, a lot of, like, kind of iffy news, if you know what I mean. It was kind of like breaking it down and seeing, like, kind of finessing the waves and giving you a refresher on what's coming and what's not coming and what they look like and some different updates that we did receive out of these pre-orders that were posted. But again, if you guys will go over there, definitely check out all the figures up for pre-order on WrestlingFigures.com. Ringside Collectibles, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. In the month of November, going to be getting a lot more stuff done over there. A lot more updates and a lot more stuff that's going to be patron exclusive over there coming. So be on the lookout for those things. But I am getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all of your thoughts on the news down in the comment section below. Where you stand, what you hate, what you don't like, what you do like. Leave me all your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in the next. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you later.